Hi, welcome to Central News for Wednesday the 5th of October. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, Patalaru Hotel will have new tenants tomorrow night when former MasterChef New Zealand contestant Cameron Petley takes on the role as head chef at Tracy Thompson's new restaurant, The Master's Table. Cameron says the menu will feature some of his most popular dishes from the MasterChef series. Uh, the diners can expect to see a couple of the dishes I cooked on the show. Uh, the venison is one of them, the surf and turf lamb rack is another one, so they can come in here, try the dishes and judge for themselves on how good they are. The Masters Table opens tomorrow night and Cameron says they have already had tour buses booking in to stay at the hotel and dine at the restaurant, but the official opening will be in November. Patatadu College is taking a hands-on approach to students' career opportunities with an outdoor career expo where students can meet professionals and participate in activities. District Truancy Officer Billy Carter, who organised the day with Guidance Councillors Linda Kersey and Bobby Sheriff, says they wanted to try a hands-on approach this year because teenagers respond well when they can interact while they learn. Really just to, to capture the children's imagination um, and to yeah, get them actively involved in the... It is the first year the school has taken this approach with the police booze bus, St John's ambulance, fire truck and army bush games set up on the grounds. The SPCA has teamed up with animal welfare group SAFE to ask the Minister of Agriculture to prevent the use of colony cages in New Zealand, which may be introduced in the near future. SPCA Chief Executive Robin Kippenberger says the main purpose is to stop the introduction of colony cages before farmers spend millions of dollars on them because the cages are not better than battery cages. She says colony cages offer no significantly better conditions for hens than they are currently enduring. They are not acceptable and in the end a cage is a cage is a cage. The number of murders and homicide related offences in the Bay of Plenty has dropped by 40% following a national trend showing a 25 year low in the number of reported homicides. Western Bay of Plenty Police Area Commander Inspector Mike Clement says it is difficult to explain a drop in homicide and murders but the high focus on high risk family violence victims and offenders may be helping. The number of homicide and related offences in the Bay of Plenty has reduced from 18 to 8 for the year ending June 30, 2011. Time to check out the region's weather. The rain seems to have passed and we are back on track for summer with mostly sunny weather in both regions today. It looks good for tomorrow as well with just the odd shower around. Hamilton, you are heading for a high of 20 and a low of 8. Tauranga has a high of 19 and a low of 9. Coming up after the break, Nina Rivett talks about Bayfair's customer service. Amy Thaler tells us of her decision to leave the YMCA to move back home to America. And Carol Gunn lets us in on Te Puki's latest developments. Join me after the break.